So I think now more than ever, we are realizing that the world is really this big crayon box. 96 colors, girl. We have like 2,009 million colors in this crayon box. <laughs> Growing up in the Caribbean, uh, um, from the time I was one to 11 years old, there was no representation of gay men or lesbians or trans people. The only aspect of that that I ever saw was when I when, was when I used to go to um, St. Lucia Carnival every summer. There was this one tall gay dude. His name was Shermac. He was like six foot five, and he would be in like a woman's garment with like the bra and the panties and the thong and like living his dreams, living his truth. But I remember feeling such an affinity and feeling inspired by this person that I had never known, that I that I still don't know. But there was something about him being so unapologetically himself. I was like, oh, this mother is fierce. Cut to 25 years later, here I am, a drag queen on VH1. But the whole being gay thing, when I started doing drag and I won this pageant, my mom and my dad who are in St. Lucia, they did not know that I was doing this thing. So I woke up that Monday morning with like literally, like this is no exaggeration, like 27 missed calls from my mom. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? Someone has died. Call her back, she's like, She's like, I'm gonna send you an email. Can you tell me what this is? She sends an email, I open it up, and it's a picture. I'm like, oh, it's just from a movie I'm doing. And then I, I immediately regretted not telling her then. So my dad called me, and he, my dad, he instantly knew what it was. He was like, hey, I'm just concerned about you. I don't want people to judge you or anything. So whatever it is, I get it. Just be careful. I cannot lie to you and say that it is gonna be easy. I can't lie to you to say that it's going to just blow over. Anyone who is a pioneer of anything always has to take the harshest bullets and the biggest blows for us first. With time and as society is progressing and, and, and as we are waking up to see that gay people are just like everybody else. If my conservative mother up in St. Lucia can watch VH1 and be and get into drag race, like, it shows that the growth of us as a society and as a community to learn and grow from the experiences of LGBTQ plus IA. It is a learning curve, it will take time, but I have full faith. So I think now more than ever, we are realizing that the world is really this big crayon box. 96 colors, girl. We have like 2,009 million colors in this crayon box. The difference between the cerulean and the blue that is what makes it beautiful. I'm just working hard and trying to be the best Monet Exchange, the gay drag queen St. Lucian that I can be. What up, y'all? This is Felice Leon with The Root. We are dedicated to bringing you more series and videos just like this. So let us know what you thought below and also subscribe to our channel on YouTube.